In um, Jeffrey R. Holland spoke at uh, BYU Idaho graduation, and uh, he talked about remembering. So you know, we need to remember the, the scriptures tell us to remember, remember, remember. And <clears throat> the church actively doesn't remember the past, and especially the bad stuff in the past, the abuses, in any kind of sexism, racism, whatever, any kind of arrogancy from the church or whatever. And um, he he, in his defense, he actually does believe that you shouldn't <clears throat> you shouldn't remember anything bad from the past and i could see that as a a way to be a way to be positive in life and optimistic but at the same time if you are doing bad things you need to come to the bishop at the same time the whole purpose of the sacrament is about your bad things um you're trying, you know, every Sunday you're trying to think of the worst things that you did in the past week. <laughs> so it's really, it's really this double mindedness in the Mormon church. It's really bizarre. And one reason I could never come back to the church is because I, I'm just, I'm just at a stage in my development, my evolution where. I can't be with abusive people. I can't be with people who only see the positive in life. I, I just can't go back to being that way or being with those type of people because it's like, it's 2019. There's a lot of shit. There's a lot of fucked up stuff. And that's part of truth. Like truth isn't like discerning. Like something's not truthful because it's good. Like, <laughs> well, everything, everything that's good is what's truthful. It's like, well, no, I, there was there. Joseph Smith may have been abusive to some people. He may have lied about the book of Mormon. You know, it's like, that's the truth of Mormonism. And then there was stuff that happened with Brigham Young and on and on and on and on. And it's like, does that mean that does that mean the truth isn't good? And it's like, well, no, it's like even with ex-Mormons, like some ex-Mormons will be like, it's so good to know the truth that the church isn't true. It's like, well, the church not being true or the historical issues, the lying, I mean, the church if you don't know the lies about the church, you don't know the church. Because they're always hiding things, they're always secretly keeping things under wraps. So you know, you know, you don't really know um, the, the history of the church. But anyway, but Elder Holland, you know, he's very positive. Yeah, he likes to keep things positive. But it was just that, you know, I was just reading that, and I was just thinking, I would never join the Mormon Church. Because they want you, they want to know your history, but they don't know their own history. It's, it's really, they, they, they deny their own history, they cover up, they can't admit, they can't admit that there are bad things that are happening in the church. So, the, so they, there are bad things happening, they, they can't admit that. They can't admit the truth because that's part of the truth. It's like, it's like yourself, right? Like you got to see the bad things you do and that's good. It's healthy. Not if you're like a perfectionist, not if you just continually think about it and you never do anything about it, but you gotta, you gotta see what you're doing. That's hurting yourself. You got to look at your past and see all the shitty things you did, all the violent things, all the abusive things, whatever. But you got to see the good, too. And then looking to the future, you're like, OK, well, let's look to the future. Being totally honest with the past. You can't be honest with the past. 
or with with the with the future you can't go forward without being completely honest about what's backward so okay we're going to be completely honest about everything that's ever happened in the church so that we can move forward otherwise you're continually fighting off the truth you know you're like denying it deny deny <laughs> you know it's like video games right like uh, it's like, you know, the video game is like, block, 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 you know, deny, deny, deny. It's like, uh, wouldn't you rather go into the future being like, yeah, their bishop's interview is a bit abusive. Yeah, a view of the Hebrews was probably used to write the Book of Mormon. Um, Brigham Young thought Adam was God. Brigham Young uh took money from people in abusive ways, you know, it's on and on and on. And it's like, let's be honest about these things. Let's see Brigham Young and Joseph Smith. Let's see the bad things they did that are historical. And that's another thing too about the leaders of the Mormon church. Historical stuff doesn't really serve any need. It's so weird. It's so weird because think about this, like think about this as a Mormon, you're basing your life off of historical stuff. <laughs> You're basing your life that in 1820, Joseph Smith did something. In 1830, this happened. In 1860, like they have dates for stuff. And, and the Book of Mormon, this happened this way. Here's the historical truth. Yeah, you, you pray about the Book of Mormon and know it's true. But before you do that, you you accept historical truths and to be fair it's not really that much historical stuff that you get you don't really get you know you, hey this guy prayed and you got you got this book and here we are you know but anyway um and that's really dangerous for how little you know as a convert because it's like wow they told me this Joseph Smith lad was super duper and he saw God and it's like, yeah, well, what if that's not true? What if before this happened, he was sent to jail and he went to court and he was involved with treasure digging and some really crazy stuff. And what if there's people who say he was dishonest? Um, and, you know, freedom of religion is existing. It's in the whole world. So you're allowed to say somebody's seen God. You know, you have that right as a multi, you know, a globalist time that we live in. I can go, I can go tell the whole world I've seen God. I've seen God and I've seen Jesus. And... But the leaders of the church, Elder Oaks would say, I don't think research is the answer. <sighs> research is the answer to become a Mormon. Research is the answer to become a Mormon. But when you start finding out, when you start finding out historical um, crazy stuff, uh, why would he say that? Isn't that interesting? Think about it. Let, let's go deeper in this with Elder Oaks. That's really interesting that he would say research is not the answer. If God really started this church, then you would think the leaders would be like, hey, learn as much as you can read journals read because god this is god's people and if whatever you read in history you'll see his hand isn't that interesting it's almost like he's saying research won't help you Re, you know research won't strengthen your but it's like well wait a minute that's really contradictory because it would be like 
it would be like you you found a company that you really liked like let's say nike but you just got like some lame nike shoes 50 dollar nike shoes and you're like well i, I like this company but you know what i'm i i I'd like to I'd like to buy more sh Nike shoes and I'd like to know about the company and so wouldn't Nike tell you yeah you research like learn all you can about Nike learn about Jordan and learn about uh, the 2000s and learn about the shoe designers and boa and you can eventually become like a super big fan of Nike and It'll just be awesome. We'll both benefit from it. You'll be giving us money for shoes, and then you'll be like, you'll know stuff about shoes, you know. You could become like a, what do they call that, a sneaker, whatever they call, uh, no, man, I forgot the word for people who collect shoes. Anyway, so, but you see that with anything. Um, not so much with vaccines. Uh the pharmaceutical industries aren't really telling people to research vaccines, but anyway. But anything that you like, uh, any kind of group or whatever, they're like, research it is the answer. <laughs> like, the Mormon leaders are like the only ones in the world who are promoting this thing. They're pro they want you to join this thing and they want you to give 10% of your income. <laughs> they want you to give 10% of their income, but they're telling you don't research our history. What? <laughs> I gotta close that door. Oh man, this is just, it's so red flaggy. It's just red flaggy all over the place, man. But, um, it's so red flaggy, man. But anyway, um, they, you, for, from people who leave the church, people who have read the history, we know why they're not promoting historical research. Because Joseph Smith was a sexual predator, Brigham Young was racist, he was a sexual predator, Brigham Young was abusive to the people closest to him, on and on and on. So yes, they know that Brigham Young and Joseph Smith were totally crazy. The story that they were prophets, that works for them. But... If somebody's telling you, give me 10% of every check you get for the rest of your life, they also should be telling you, study the hell out of my business. Study the hell out of my religion. Learn about me. Learn, learn about my detractors, people who say I'm bad. Learn from them. Learn from the people who say I'm good. Honestly, Elder Oaks is a lawyer. Like, wouldn't he tell you that? Like, learn from the people who say that the Mormon church is shit. It's evil. It's abusive. And then learn about the people who say it's the heavenliest thing. It's so wonderful. We got angels and God and Jesus giving secret handshakes to everybody. It's like, yeah. But that's if you were an, ad an adult. Like if you were a functioning, thinking adult, they would have you do that. But the membership of the leadership of the Mormon Church, they don't, they don't really think you're that mature you can't handle things in the truth the leadership of the mormon church they don't really think you're the smartest person um they think you're kind of shit and they just going to tell you hey it's true that's all you need to know and you need to go to sacrament and blah blah, blah. you need to pay money and anyway so peace out with all that humdigger